another place where we have to make different decisions based on the situation is tax. In the U.S., you are taxed differently based on whether you are single or married and also based on how much you make. So, for example, if you're single and you make up to $9,700, then you're taxed at 10%. But if you make more than $9,700, then that's taxed at 12% above $9,700. And that's why two people have to be taxed differently be depending on whether they're like Ken who makes less than 9700 or like Sam who makes more than 9700 and you can confirm these calculations by looking at the tax table so let's design a function to compute the income tax of someone who is single let's call this function tax it's just going to be a function from number to number. It's going to compute the income tax of some single person with a given income. And let's call this input income for short. Okay. So we've already actually gathered some examples. Let's now just put it into the form of automatic tests. That's for Ken, and that's for Sam. Again, we're going to soon learn how to elaborate on this kind of template. But for now, let's just use the template as a chance to remind ourselves that the income is an input that should be used in this function. Now, we need to make a decision based on whether the income is above or below 9700. So there has to be two cases in this count, in this conditional, and each case again is going to have a question and an answer. The question could be whether the income is less than 9700 or whether the income is greater than 9700. If the income is less than 9700, then that's taxed at 10%. And here's how that's taxed. If the income is greater than 9700, then there are two parts of the uh, tax. The first part is just $9,700 taxed at 10%. And the second part is 12% tax on the part of the income after the $9,700. So these are the two tax amounts, and then we have to add them together to get the final amount of total income tax. Okay, so let's see if our test pass. They do pass, but there are still a couple of issues about this program. First of all, what happens if the income is exactly $9,700? Well, both the first question and the second question are going to be false because 9700 is neither less than nor greater than itself. So this is a bad situation. We get this error message complaining that all question results were false. So we should really change our program so that at least one question result is true. It doesn't really matter which one we change. Uh, I could change the second one, for example, to be a greater than equal comparison instead of greater than. And then we'll be able to uh, compute the income tax of someone who makes exactly $9,700. Now, another thing that you might want to know is that when the last case of a count is exactly the all remaining cases, then we could replace that with a simple word else. So when we put else in a last question of account, that just means always fall back to this last case if nothing else comes out true. 